Yo, what's up guys? Uh, and in today's video, I'm going to be just briefly discussing and reacting to uh, Dana White's announcement of the uh, title fight, or one of the title fights for UFC 300, Zhang Weili vs. Yan Jianan. And then also, uh, talking about the MMA guru and Lucas Tracy MMA, and all the kind of, the general talk that's going around of this is the worst thing that could ever happen, and how could we allow this? This is a disgrace. This is terrible. This is horrible. Like, I feel like people just kind of need to chill out a little bit. Like, I don't know. I just wanted to kind of have a chat real quick, because let me know what you guys think in the comments, but MMA Guru is fucking overreacting beyond belief. He's just, like, being overly aggressive to try and, like, be, like, edgy and make it seem funny. Uh, I'm not even gonna, like, structure this, I kinda just, like, <laughs> just gonna talk about whatever comes to my mind, I guess, but, UFC 300, so far, I just wanna tell you what we've got so far, so, Bo Nickel vs Cody Bundage is gonna be the early prelim opener of the card, that is basically confirmed, if it's not, then that's terrible, but if it is, then who cares, um, we've got Alexander Rakic vs Europa Husker, that might be a main card fight, it might not be, that could be on the prelims. Alderman Sterling vs Kelvin Cater is probably going to be on the prelims. And then Charles Oliveira vs Armin Suyukin is going to be on the main card. Zhang Weili vs Yan Jianan is on the main card. And then there's a rumour of Bilal Muhammad vs Leon Edwards, which would obviously be on the main card. Now, don't get me wrong, if that is the main event, I take back everything I'm about to say in this video, and MMA Guru has complete... Um, complete, like, excuse to be, he's got an excuse to be very upset, and that's a terrible main event, if that's the main of UFC 300, but, let me just, um, like, I know this is going to be dumb, because I, I'm not, it's not a normal pay-per-view, like, it's meant to be UFC 300, but, let me just read this out to you, like, if this is the main card, if, if the main card reads as follows, Leon Edwards, Leon Edwards vs. Bilal Muhammad, Zhang Weili vs. Yan Jianan, so two title fights, Oliveira vs. Sayukin as the third fight on the card, Yuri vs. Rakic, and then Bo Nickel as the main card opener, as he has in his last two fights. He literally opens the main card of John Jones' return, and International Fight Week. So, I feel like, if he's on the early prelims, that's not that bad. Like, I'm happy with that. If that's just the main card on its own, that's literally a solid main card. Like, of a, no of a normal pay-per-view. Let me make that clear. Of a normal pay-per-view. So, I am not expecting... If, if this is the main card of UFC 300, it's terrible, and that's just an average card. But, like, let's just talk about that. We don't see people complaining about, like, the cards where you guys are complaining is, like, when it's, like, a Nunes main event. A Nunes versus Eldana main event. May I uh, just bring up Nunes main evented UFC 200. So, I don't know. I feel like you guys just got to shut up for a second. Just realize that w this isn't exactly, like, so much worse than the last, the last UFC, like... 100 card, but let me read out UFC 200 to you, and this is the full card, so, Misha Tate vs Amanda Nunes, main event, Brock Lesnar vs Mark Hunt, as just a kind of shit together, I know it was exciting because it's Brock Lesnar, but if you think about it, like, let's get actual fucking fights that have divisional stakes, Daniel Cormier vs Anderson Silva just got chucked together last minute because Jones pulled out, um, Aldo vs Frankie Edgar as a title fight, great stuff, Cain Velasquez vs. Travis Brown, whatever, decent. Um, we've got Katz and Garner vs. Juliana Pena headlines of the prelims, like, that's not good. Johnny Hendricks vs. Gastelum's a great fight. Dillashaw vs. Sunset, great. Sage Northcutt was a prospect at the time he was on the card. Uh, Diego Sanchez vs. Joe Lozon, whatever, that's cool. Masasi vs. Santos, great fight. And then Miller vs. Takanoi Gomi, great fight. So, like, UFC 300, it was pretty much all great fights except for, like, Pena vs. Zinganu's not the best. North cuts, whatever, like, who really cares about that? But, like, that card had a bunch of top 15 matchups. It had a couple, to it had a two title fights on there, and then two big name fights with Silver and Cormier, and then Lesnar and Hunt. Like, those were the big fights, but that was UFC 200, right? Sick. I'm not going to read 100 because there weren't as many stars back then. That was a decent card, too. But, like, I think people have this misconception that these UFC 100, 200, 300 cards are just like, we need for the whole main card to be title fights. Like, that's literally never happened in UFC history. When they do three title... The, the cards, when they've done three title fights on a card, haven't even been the 100 cards main event. Like, 
UFC 261 had three title fights. It had Usman Masvidal, had Whaley vs. Rose, and it had Andrade vs. Shevchenko. Like, that was two women's title fights, and then a men's title fight. And that was the UFC's return to an arena. That was the big comeback of the UFC after COVID. And everyone was hyped out of their mind. But people have just, like, put this expectation in their head that UFC 300 is just meant to be, like, 14 pay-per-view main events stacked on top of each other as one card. Like, yeah, sick. That'd be great. But then what the fuck else happens to the rest of the cards? Like, I'm hearing more people complaining about 299 saying it's overstacked. Like, what do you guys want? I agree that they should add a fight or two from that to 300 if they are struggling. But if they've got fights for that card, then what are we complaining about? Like, realistically... 297's decent, it's taken a hit because Blahovic Rakic fell off. 298's a great card, 299's a great card. Would you guys rather have a mega stacked fucking 300 where there's five title fights on one card, but then you end up with women's MMA title fight main events for the other pay-per-views around it? Like, is that what you guys want? You want fucking women's MMA title fight pay-per-views? For you? you want UFC 301 to be fucking Bueno Silva versus Pena? Because that's what we're going to fucking get if they, like, they got to spread some shit out. So, UFC 300 can still be an incredible card with three title fights. Like, UFC 300 didn't, 200 didn't even have three title fights. It had a women's main event title fight, and then it had Aldo versus Edgar as the, four, as the second fight on the main card. It had two big fights, but, like, if you think about it, Lesnar versus Hunt... Like, that's just a shit show of a fight. Like, that's like, if they fucking brought back Lesnar now, is that what's going to make you guys happy? Would you prefer Lesnar versus fucking Mark Hunt? Or let, would you prefer Brock Lesnar versus fucking Jarzinho Rosenstrike on UFC 300? And that's like the co-main event. And you guys are going to be like, yeah, sick. Good stuff, UFC. This is awesome. This is so much better than an actual title fight and high-level martial arts. Like, is that what you guys fucking want? So, people are whinging. Yan Zhanan versus Zhang Wei Li, sure, it's not a pay-per-view main event, obviously. It's not a pay-per-view co-main event for most cards. On a lot of cards, that is a pay-per-view co-main event. Like, Zhang Wei Li co-mained her last card with O'Malley as the main event. I'm not saying she should co-main event 300, obviously. But if that's the third fight on the card, it's alright. If that's the fourth fight on the card and we have three title, three more title fights above that, sick. I don't know why anyone could find a reason to complain. I hear MMA Guru talking about it's hogging a spot on 300. Yeah, well, fucking Pena versus whoever the fuck is in Ghana or some shit. That's hogging a spot on 200. Nunes was the main event. Like, we're going to act like... That had two women's fights on there. If this is the only women's MMA fight on there, then I'm, I'm all over it. I'm happy. But if we get, like, say... How about this? If we get Bilal versus Usman, so Bilal versus uh, Leon as the co-main event, we get a whatever main event. I don't know what the main event will be. Maybe if we get like Easy versus, if we get Easy versus DDP or Strickland versus Hamzat or something like that as the main, or Pereira versus someone as the main for a title fight, that's amazing. And then Usman versus Bilal. When the fuck do you ever get a welterweight men's title fight as a co-main event? You guys got to stop whinging, honestly. Like I know it would be sick to have every single fucking title fight put on one card, but that's not how it fucking works. You can't do that. That's, like, it's male, like, that doesn't work. Male practice. Like, you can't make that work as a fucking thing because then you get no good UFC 298. You get no good UFC 299. Would you guys rather we get O'Malley, we get Volk, we get Strickland DDP, we get all of this all on 300, but then 297's headlined by Bueno Silva versus Pennington, 298's headlined by Grasso versus Shevchenko 3, and 299 is headlined by Whaley versus Yanan. Would you prefer that? Because if you would, alright, sick, sure. You prefer that, you're odd. You would prefer three women's MMA pay-per-views and then one good card. In my opinion, I'd rather four good cards in a row to start off the year, because guess what? 300 is still going to be a fucking solid card. Like, there's five fights announced, and everyone's just hailing it as the worst fucking card since UFC 289 Nunes vs. Aldana. Like, what are we talking about here? The main event for that, the main card for that, if, if those fights on there right now are just set, and that's what we've got as the main card, that's still a fucking better main card than, like, 294, 293, 292. Like, these are all... If that, even what we've got right now, like a men's title fight, men's welterweight title fight, and a women's strawweight title fight, which is an exciting matchup. And then Oliveira as as the third fight on the card. Remember, Oliveira co mentioned his last pay-per-view. Oliveira as the third fight on the card. And then you get a former title challenger, 
or a former champion, and then you got two former champions on the main card, El Jermaine moving up, like, this is a sick card. And then, like, Bonicle, like, headline the prelims. I know he shouldn't be, but I feel like people are, like, got this misconception that it needs to be this never-before-seen thing. When the fuck have we ever seen a card stacked like this? 260 with Blahovic, Adesanya, Sterling, and then had Nunes. That had three title fights as well. That had two men's title fights. That was sick. But, like, we're going to end up getting something like this anyway. If we get... Dana White's announcing more fights tomorrow. So, my opinion, if we get, like... If he announces Pereira versus, like, Easy tomorrow, I know that's unlikely. Or Pereira versus Hill or something as the main, and then Leon Bilal co-main. Or if we wait, and then, like, the winner of Strickland versus Duplessis faces either Chemayev or Adesanya, and that's the main. That's a fucking sick main event. And then we get two... If we get two, like, upper weight class... Like, two above 155 pounds men's title fights. That's sick. Like, that's a... We don't get that ever. Like, tell me a card when there's been a welterweight title fight as the co-main event. Like, that doesn't happen. They always main event that shit. I know Leon vs. Bilal's a weak main event, and obviously it shouldn't main event 300, but I feel like people just got to stop whinging and realize that we literally never get this, so it's unrealistic to expect just this never-before-seen thing. Okay. Fucking fast forward in, like, 15 years time or something. If we get UFC 500, like, mega, that's, like, enormous. Like, mega event. 500. That's nuts. If we get that and it's not, that's a, that's the one where they should be a whole main card of title fights. That's the kind of thing I'm looking at. But, like, 299's a sick card. If 299 ends up being better than 300, then that's going to be a little bit odd. But in terms of 299, it's stacked and it's got a bunch of fun fights, but... It's it's a one title fight card and it's a men's bantamweight title fight main event. So, is it do you guys want fun matchups or do you want title fights? Because I'm hearing MMA Guru say we need Leon vs Bilal shouldn't even be the co-main event. So do you do you just want more title fights or are you fine with fun fights? Because Dana said that UFC 300, you're going to look at it and be like, well, those are prelim fights. Like most for my, if Aljamain vs Kader ends up on the prelims. Which cards recently is that ever a prelim fight? Like, Al Jermaine Sterling versus Kelvin Cater on literally no card is a prelim fight. That, that's a main card fight on every single pay-per-view that we've had in the last five years. I swear to God. Um, former champion moving up fighting a top contender. That's a main card fight in any fucking pay-per-view. And you guys are acting like there's no chance that... Like, if that's on the main card, this is the worst card of all time. I agree that it shouldn't be because... If they are going to stack it correctly and do three title fights and then Oliveira versus Armin, which is definitely a main card fight, I would love to see four title fights. That would be amazing, but I feel like it's unrealistic to expect. If we get a middleweight title fight as the main event, Leon versus Bilal co-main, um, and then if we get Valentina versus Grasso and then Wei Li versus Janan and then Oliveira versus Armin to open up the card... Are you going to tell me you're going to fucking whinge about that? Because there's women's title fights. Because it's So, is it that you don't want women's MMA? If so, I can understand it. Look, you want just dudes fighting. Like, that's fair enough. But, I'm just confused. Because if you would be fine with UFC 300, if it just had all of 299's fights under a title fight. Like, if that's, so, if that's acceptable as 300, then you don't care about title fights. You just want fun fights. So, how about we just fucking wait and see what the UFC do let them announce more than just five fights before judging the card. Like, I think people think this is going to be the main card. Like, they don't announce it, just the main card, and then announce all the prelims. That's dead. They're announcing a couple fights on the main, couple of prelims, and then they're going to do, like, a big 300 drop, I reckon. Tomorrow, he said, like, two or three more fights, so hopefully we get... If those are all 300, then we're going to get a better idea of what this card's looking like, but if Yuri versus Rakic and Sterling versus Kader ends up on the prelims then that's an amazing card, and I don't know how anyone can complain, because if you look at UFC 200, that's not the quality of fights. Like, UFC 200 did not have that, that quality of fights on the prelims. Let me read out um, 200 one more time. Zinganu versus... These were just the four prelims. Zinganu versus Pena, Hendricks versus Gastelum, Dillashaw versus Sunsia, sick. Pretty sure that was before. Before Dillashaw got his title shot, I think. Oh, don't quote me on that. And then Northcutt versus... Enrique Marin, like what we look that those are prelims. So 
I'm going to compare Northcutt to Bo Nickel, not in the sense of skill, but in the sense of a prospect. He's on the prelims, not even on the early, or not even on the early prelims. The early prelims were solid. Masasi versus Santos, but again, Thiago Santos wasn't that big of a name back then, from my memory. Jim Miller, he's a legend and a fan favorite now, but again, on UFC 200, he was not a massive name. So you look at that and go like, oh, Jim Miller, that's so sick. He's never been like a huge name. And then Diego Sanchez versus Joe, Joe Lozon. Those are two guys that we consider as just vets and just kind of journeymen now. Like, there's older guys that just lose half their fights. Like, if you're looking at it back then, they weren't just top five fights stacked throughout the whole card. So, people got to stop fucking whinging about, like, I want to wait and see first. I think the sentiment about 300, just chill for a sec before you fucking pronounce it as the worst card to ever exist and say that, oh, this is a fight night quality card. Like, shut up. It's a great card so far, as in terms of every single fight on there is solid. Bo Nicker vs. Brundage, we know what it is, it's a can fed. But apart from that, Al Jermaine vs. Kader, Yuri vs. Rakic, those are two top five fights. I know Kader's not quite top five, but Sterling's number one at Bantamweight. Top five light heavyweight fight, a women's title fight, and a clear number one contender. Wei Li's also a sick fighter, she's great to watch. So, that's a fun fight. So, if it's that. If you've just got this thing in your mind that you think women's fights are boring, Wei Li's sick. Zhang Wei Li is more entertaining than half the fucking men on the roster. She's more entertaining than fucking Magomed on Kalaev, and I won't hear differently. It's just like, there's this, this like stigma about there's never going to be entertaining women's fights. Zhang Wei Li is fucking entertaining. So make up your mind. Is it that you just don't want women on the card, or do you want exciting fights, or do you want title fights? What do you guys want for UFC 300? Because I feel like they're delivering a bit of all of it. If we end up with three title fights on that card, and then just a bunch of fun other top contender fights. Like, if we're ending up with some random fucking prelims, like, if we look at some of the pay-per-views this year, UFC 296, there weren't, like, that That was considered super stacked. We had ranked fighters on the prelims. If 300, apart from Bo Nickel, is just every single fighter is top five fucking ranked. We got Oliver of Asokin, number one contender fight, banger, former champion. Oliver is a superstar in the sport. So... Stop fucking whinging about 300. How about you just wait and see until the fucking card is announced and just assuming it's going to be awful. Like, right now, how many title fights are booked? We've got middleweight, we've got women's bantamweight, we've got featherweight, we've got bantamweight, and then we've got women's strawweight, and then we're assuming we have welterweight. Islam's off for a while, that's annoying. We still have a light heavyweight title we can do. We can get Aspinall on somewhere, we can do that. Like, we've got... We have options. So, if they don't do any of those options and we end up with just some shitty, like, main, and then Leon Bilal co-main, Whaley as the third fight, Oliver, and then just some average main card open, I can see, like, it'll still be a great card, but I it won't be phenomenal. But I think we got we got to wait until this is done. Let the UFC cook. It's literally, like, three days ago that they announced Poirier vs. St. Denise and Oliver vs. Armin, and we were on top of the world. We were so happy. Well, look look at all these fights. UFC is cooking. Dana's cooking. It takes one women's title fight announcement, and everyone's like, oh, this is terrible. The UFC is dead. 300's ruined. It's just... MMA Guru is talking about 300's destroyed because of one fight announcement. Like, buddy, it's a great fight in terms of just... I agree it shouldn't be a co-main. Fucking hell. You, I'm, I've said that five times. Like, It's still a fun fight. And it's like, what do you want on the main card? He's talking about, we need fights that are going to sell pay-per-view buys. It's like, so, like who? Tell me who you think should be. Like, I I think there's a, still a really solid chance we get Holloway vs. Gaethje on there too. That'll be a sick fight. Like, I'm going to repeat it for the fucking millionth time. If Sterling vs. Kader and Yuri vs. Rakic are both not ending up on the main card, I don't care what's on the main card, it's a sick main card. Like, if we get, like, let, let's, let's hypothesize this. If we get Strickland vs. Hamzat or Izzy vs. DDP, because I think that outcome will differ based on who wins next weekend. If we get that main event, Leon Bilal co-main, Gaethje Holloway five-round BMF fight as the third fight, Whaley vs. Gra- sorry, Whaley vs. Janan as the fourth fight on the card, and then Oliver vs. Armin to open up the card. Bruh, don't complain, you fucking idiots. Like, people are still gonna whinge about that and be like, bro, there's only three title fights on the card and a BMF title fight. It doesn't, that's it shit. It's a bad card. Like, shut your mouth, you fucking idiot. Like, I, cool. Yeah, it'd be sick to have 20 title fights on a card, but you can't do that, mate. 
So if we just get, if we, that's the main card, if we get pre like, the prelims, Aljamain vs. Kata headlines, Rakic vs. Yuri, if we get some other sick fights, like, I'm not gonna, like, I'm thinking through the top of my head right now, I don't know the rankings off by heart, but if we just get some other fun fights on there, like, a, maybe even, like, a, a, like, a Pavlovich vs. Volkov or some shit like that, if we get, like, a... Khalil Roundtree versus Jan Blahovic or Khalil Roundtree versus someone on there. Just get some fun fights going. Like, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to, I, I'm processing the rankings through my head. Like, you know what I mean? Where There's a ton of fun fights that you can make. Like, there's heaps of good fights you can make for UFC 300. So, if the prelims are just all fun top 15 contender fights, and then the main card is like three title fights plus BMF plus Oliveira... That's sick. So, stop whinging. I know that's not 100% what the UFC is going to do, but just let them cook. They've cooked before. They've delivered some stinkers before. I know that. But, come on. Let's just take a chill. Let the UFC just sit back. There's more announcements tomorrow. If they come out tomorrow and say Shevchenko versus Grasso is a title fight, and then they go like Leon versus Bilal's the main event, again, take back everything I said. Hands down. Awful card. Terrible. But... Let him cook. Let's see what happens. We're going to get some fights. Like, Jim Miller can get a fun opponent on there. Get Paul Felder on 300. Like, we can get some good shit going there. Just take a chill pill. Sit back. Let the UFC cook. They always cook. They're going to deliver a good card. Just relax. UFC 300 is not destroyed. MMA Guru, calm your obese ass down, bro. Stop talking about oiling Dana White up. You're not going to do anything to him. You live in the UK, buddy. Like, just stop talking reckless. You don't know how to strike. Calm down, big fella. So, yeah, UFC 300. It's going to be great. I've got faith. I'm delivering the positive vibes. Everyone's talking about it's ruined because of one fight. Just calm down. Hold your horses. It's going to be a good card. I'll probably be making a video tomorrow covering the fight announcements. And either I'm going to look really dumb or I'm going to be right. And my positive energy is going to work and it's going to be great. So, yeah, just chill. Sit back and see, and it's going to be good stuff. See you tomorrow, guys, for the new fight announcements, and peace out, everybody. See ya.